Hello everyone, welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report, one of Timer Digest's top ranked stock micro timers. And while we've been trading over 30 plus years, we began our day trading service in 2018. You can see we got off to a great start with nearly 30, 70, and over 133% gains. While in 2019 we had a down year, 2020 is off to a great start with nearly 15, 190% gain in the first quarter while the S&P was down 20%. Subscribers to our short-term report receive our day trades in real time. While we've been trading for over 30 years, we are relatively new to YouTube, so we appreciate if you hit that subscribe, reminder, and like buttons. Thanks again. Today is June 21st, 2020. We want to wish everyone out there a happy Father's Day. Today we're going to do technical analysis on the S&P 500, taking a top-down approach. We're going to start with a monthly bar from the 2009 low. We can see a completed pattern up to this year's high. As you can see, the first wave down, the red bars were down on a monthly basis took us past the 382 retracement level at 2351 and you can also see that we broke that uptrend line. Uh, notice that a 50% retracement gives us a target of 2030 in the S&P. That's important for this video. As we go now to the weekly chart, we can see that here is the top. We've had a wave one down, a wave two up. Notice also that every one of these bars, it may be hidden by that line, but every one of these weekly bars in wave one down is red. Okay, so that was wave one down, and here is wave two up to the June 8th high. And again, as you can see, a Fibonacci one to one relationship with wave one gives a target of 2031 on a weekly basis, while our monthly basis gave us the same target within a point at 2030 is attracting the price action. Let's move further down to a daily bar on the S&P and here is our February 19th all-time high. This is wave one down and wave two up into the June 8th high. A few things to note here. Our subscribers know about this island reversal up here. We gapped up stayed there for four days, basically moved sideways, and then we gapped down. So we have that island reversal gap above. There's also a gap right here. I believe it's 29.55 on that bar. So the market is obviously going to do one of two things. It's going to move up and close this gap, and if it does, there's the next gap up over here, way up in the 32, uh, close to 33.30 area or it's going to close this gap down here. Another thing we want to note is the price action. You can see the S&P spent a long time between the 50% and the 618 retracement levels, which is normally where the upward corrections go. However, this one had that, that final ending diagonal triangle with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up, and thus the island reversal, which is a very bearish signal. Now we want to move down to the hourly chart, and as you can see from the June 8th high, we have five completed waves down with an ending diagonal triangle for wave five, and then an A, B, C up pattern. Again, we may allow for a little higher wave C up to the 786 retracement, but we really like the double top right here, and it appears that from the June 19th high, we've traced out excuse me, <clears throat> five waves down on the one hour chart. We can drill down even further and look at the five minute chart and you can see, let's see if we can draw it out here on uh, on our little tool here. Let's see, we can count and there's a chance this could extend, but we could see one, two, three, four, five right here. And you can see the retracement took us between the 382 and the 50% retracement. If this is like any of the other retracements, we can see it go to the 618. 
and from there it should go down. So short term, we could look at a move up to these possible levels, or it could be the entire move up there, and then it goes down, and then the third wave could also still extend. But the main thing we want to take away here is we have three different targets of 2030. We go back to our monthly chart, and there is the 50% retracement. We can look at our weekly chart, and we have where wave three down equals wave one. By the way, a more common relationship would be a 1.618. Target there is 1288. But for now, we'll look at that 2030 target. And then the trend line from the January 2018 high connecting the lows, it hits right on 2030 again, not coincidentally. Also, let's go back to the weekly bars. As I mentioned before, these are all red. And the third wave should be as fast and as violent down as the first wave. So we expect this to be swift and sharp and expect to move to 2031. And conversely, if we, we fill that island reversal triangle up there, expect to hit the next gap and then probably new all-time highs. So we would think that this week this market's going to resolve itself one way or another. We're going to close this gap above or we're going to close this gap below. From there, we have a pretty good idea where the market is going. Remember again to hit that subscribe and reminder and like button as we are relatively new to YouTube. And thanks again for watching. Take care, everyone.